continuing with our homemade series. If you want the best, you got to make it yourself. All right, let's look and see what we got here. This is how they look after they come out the oven. Mmm, boy, they look good. Now, what you call these? Pita bread. Pita bread. They bake for eight minutes. Oh, man. I'm going to enjoy it myself. So, add three quarter cups of warm water to a bowl, a package of dry yeast, which is about two and one quarter teaspoons of yeast. Stir it up and let it rest for about five minutes until it becomes foamy. Next, you want to add three and three quarter cups of flour to a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to take it to the blender and let it knead or mix for the next seven to 10 minutes. I'm adding three quarter cups of sour cream, or you can use yogurt, a tablespoon of olive oil, and I'm just gonna mix it until it all comes together like so. So seven minutes later, I'm putting it on the table and just kneading it enough to make it into the perfect ball. Then I'm gonna add a little olive oil to the bowl and a little bit on top, just so the dough doesn't stick to the bowl. Now I'm gonna wrap this bowl with a towel to make it extra warm because I wanna speed up the proofing process. So you know your dough is right when it feels so soft and pillowy. Now I'm rolling it out into a nice size circle and I'm gonna cut it in even pieces like so. I'm gonna roll it up into some little balls and then I'm gonna roll each individual ball out like I'm doing here. I'm gonna put it on my cookie sheet and then I'm gonna proof it, cover it with the towel first and proof it for five more minutes. I'm gonna put these pita pieces of dough inside a 500 degree oven for eight minutes. All right. Four Let's look on and see each what we side. Got here. And this is how they come out. So now I'm cutting it in half and it should be just like so. 